welcome to the GoToWebinar Attendee Quick Start video. In this overview, I will show you the ways to join a webinar, the in-session features, and I will discuss some webinar best practices. In order to join a GoToWebinar session, an internet connection is required. We recommend joining via a high-speed wired connection as opposed to Wi-Fi. To utilize Voice over IP, or VoIP, the computer must have a microphone and speakers. As a best practice, we recommend using a USB headset if you're going to connect via VoIP. You may also connect to the webinar's audio via telephone. The GoToWebinar organizer will have sent an invitation containing a URL link from which an attendee can register for the webinar. Click on this link to register. You will be asked to enter any required registration information before receiving a confirmation email or joining a webinar in progress. Please also note that some webinar organizers will set up their session as upon approval. If this is the case, you may need to wait until the organizer approves you until you receive your email registration confirmation. If you have joined a GoToWebinar session a few minutes before the organizer, you will be presented with the Waiting for Organizer screen. Once the organizer arrives, that screen will disappear and the event will begin. You may use this time to review the audio checklist. Another way to attend a webinar is to navigate to GoToWebinar.com and click on Join a Webinar. Enter the webinar ID in the field and click Continue. Once in the GoToWebinar session, make sure the audio is set up properly. For VoIP users, click Computer Audio to enable that option. For those dialing in by telephone, be sure to have Telephone selected. Please note that when using the telephone option, normal long distance rates will apply. When possible, encourage your staff and attendees to use their mic and speakers as VoIP is free of charges. Please note when using the telephone, it's very important to enter your PIN number. Without this entered, the organizer will not be able to mute and unmute you. The audio information will appear in the audio pane if telephone is selected. You may switch between the two audio options at any time during the webinar. When the organizer of the webinar clicks on the play button, the audience will see the organizer's screen. When the pause button is clicked, the audience will see the last frame of the organizer's screen before the pause. If the organizer clicks the stop button, the audience will be sent back to the waiting room. The organizer has the ability to adjust what panes are available for the attendees on their control panel. So depending on what the organizer selected, you may have varying options on your control panel. Under the file dropdown, you may save the questions from your log records and you have the option to exit the webinar. The help menu leads to support materials, a feedback option, and information about that version of GoToWebinar. This globe icon allows you to change the language of your GoToWebinar control panel. Finally, this is the Grab tab. By clicking on the orange arrow in the Grab tab, the attendee is able to hide or expand their control panel. Any pane from the control panel can be detached and expanded. The Grab tab also has some shortcuts on it that make attending a webinar even easier. All of the items in the Grab tab are duplicates of options in other places on the control panel. The organizer will begin the webinar with the majority of the controls, but may choose to share or pass over privileges to an attendee. If the organizer has to leave the webinar, instead of ending the webinar for all, the role of organizer can even be given to an attendee to continue the work. To clarify, when an attendee is promoted to the role of organizer, their control panel will have additional controls. Click here to exit the webinar by clicking on the X button. 